I just knew I always wanted to be an artist from when I was about four or five, so that was it really, just had to get on with it. This is a place I come quite a lot to photograph um, the trees and the pools. Uh, the, there's a story of Lord Croft who planted um, a row of Spanish chestnuts and English oaks in the formation of the Spanish Armada um, like 300 years ago and these, these trees are the trees that I've been photographing recently. I grew up in the countryside I'm um, re a really small family, and there's my mum, my dad and myself. My mum used to be an artist. I, I just whenever anyone said, what do you want to be when you grow up? It was a, an artist, an artist, an artist. Early on it was night shots. I suppose it was about going into, putting myself into quite an uncomfortable situation. So going out, into the woods on my own in the dark was never um, something I was 100% comfortable with. It's like a relation, a direct relation with the landscape. It's not look at that lovely view or look at that beautiful tree. It's feeling something in the landscape. And the whole process from being in the landscape, photographing it, pacing it together, drawing it, then projecting it on the overhead projector onto the panels, then cutting it, then painting it. You've got this process that kind of detaches you from that original image. So Rock of the Night is for me about um, anxiety and fear of the unknown and that's rooted in that landscape when I was photographing. Because I think, well for me it's always been quite an overpowering emotion in lots of, lots of ways. Um, and I think today, at the present time, um, it's, it's a widely felt emotion about a lot of things whether that's the economy or the environment that it's um it's, it's a common kind of feeling at the moment this is a photograph of rock of the night um complete the, the painting these this is a very very early um collage of a few of the photographs that made up rock of the night um these were photographed in scotland on the isle of sky uh, in December, so we had these very low light levels. Um, these are trees that have fallen over and it's the underneath of the tree. When the light goes, you, anything could happen. It's enamel paint that creates a gloss surface, uh, a reflective surface. So when you're looking at the works, you, you're looking at them as though you're looking at a sculpture. So with Rock of the Night, you're very, when you're up close, you're totally engulfed in this image. Um, and when you move away, it becomes more of a graphic and you see it as a, as a complete image. The titles of the works are never directly linked to the place. Rock of the Night was a folly. It was a building um, that had nothing to do with this. It was just the title. I collect titles as I collect pictures of, of, of things or photographs. I go through my huge list of titles that I've been collecting and um, they, they match up. So. Well, I go through phases. Um, so f at the beginning, most of the work was f based on forests and trees. And, um, and it was very up close. It, was, it wasn't about the landscape, it was about putting the camera into the bushes and photographing really up close. Um, and then I went through a phase of, of painting a lot of pools and reflections and working with water and again trying to distort that landscape. 
from. And now I'm just moving on to a series of paintings that are based on rocks, um, standing stones and rock formations. I'm currently working on an exhibition for the Hepworth Wakefield. A lot of the works are based on rocks and photographs of rocks in the Yorkshire area. So I've been looking at rocks. So this is, this is the John Piper window at Coventry Cathedral, and this is the font. Um, various uh, Avebury, rocks in Avebury. Just been looking at... So uh, as I see things, I just grab hold of them and use them for structure, for colour. So it, it, that's it, really. 